I'm back. Um, I know it's been a been a long bit of a while since I've been on the bench. Um, with everything going on with the house, getting a new couch, and well, Christmas. Um, so that was kind of hectic. We've had a number of floods in the apartment because uh, we're on the fourth floor, so the roof of the building's one day being rebuilt. <laughs> Um, so, you know, hopefully that'll stop. There's actually a leak that is right here, right in front of the camera. And it's coming out of my light fixture itself. It's actually coming out from where the bulbs are. So we do not have any light bulbs in there. There is a lamp here, and I have a work lamp there. But everything should be, you might actually hear a drop. It just happened. Um, but everything should be light enough for you guys to see. I've got a little trouble light here. You know, I can show you guys if I need to do it. Mm -hmm. um, dollar store finds. You gotta love these things. It can swivel. Mm -hmm. But anywho. Yeah, so again, it's been a while since I've been on here. I finally got a new computer. It's an Acer Nitro 50. 12 gigabyte RAM, um, good graphics card in it, but you know, it's an actual gaming computer. I don't game, but I need, I wanted the performance for videos and everything else, as you guys have noticed in a lot of my videos pre the last one. Um, there's a lot of glitches that happen. It's because this, this camera here, um, it's a very high quality camera, so it, the, the, computer itself can't process the images very well or video so that's that um, so it's been a work in progress I'm trying to learn the program the editing program I bought and paid for it's a good program I just I am not good with I'm so used to the old simple movie maker that I used on my old computer it was basically just drag and drop and split and delete and you know as you guys could tell they weren't the greatest videos like there was a lot of they were good but they weren't the clearest if that makes sense the detail wasn't there and in that last video I did you can actually see very good detail in the video so like I always say bear with me <laughs> I'll get this all figured out um, but I figured I'd uh, do a video while I've got the chance and uh, show you one of the Christmas presents I got. Uh, this was from my awesome mom. She loves how I, I, I do this stuff. Uh, keeps me busy. Uh, small backstory, I do have my vision problems, so when that happened I just kind of got very depressed and just stopped doing a lot of stuff. And over time I slowly started getting back into RC. I loved it when I was a kid. I had nitros and a couple monster trucks, things like that. And then I just got out of it, you know, become a teenager, parties and all that fun stuff. And well, and I wasn't taking care of my diabetes because I've been diabetic since I was nine, type one, so I have to inject myself all the time. Um, vision problems happened. So, cleaned my habits, stopped all the, you know, I don't smoke pot anymore. I don't, I quit smoking cigarettes many years ago now. And when I drink, I have a drink, and it's on a very, very small amount of occasion. We, I don't really keep any booze in the house. Um, there might be a small little bottle, you know, special occasion pour drink. But we're having a baby, so I made a deal with my fiance, soon to be wife. Um, no booze. I will not drink because she can't drink. So that I felt was fair. Uh, not that I drink all the time anyway, but. That's beside the point. Anyway, my mom got me an awesome gift. And because she knew I wanted to do the baby coming in March, I want to have a project that I can spend some time on. Because I've got my big truck up here, the one you guys always see in the videos. I've got that. And I guess I'll show you what I did to that, actually. One small little thing, I put the cage on the back. Um, 
this being that in Jor in Jorna in Jora in whatever, it's actually too big for the body in many spots, and I didn't I kinda got it a little um crooked. <laughs> But I couldn't actually mount it up here because the top here, no matter what way you put it, is wider than this body. So I went and did a, a bad thing. I put some holes, zap straps, so it's on there. Um, but it mounts on, as you can see. Try and get it in the photo or in the camera. It mounts just with these little tabs here. Screw them in, tighten them on. It's good to go. Got a little log, firewood stack in the back there. For now, this is how the body's going to look. Um, eventually, I'm probably going to switch it completely out for something else. But, I don't mind the truck. I might even keep the body and just swap to a different back end or something. Um, but yeah. This also might go in that truck. It's the Axial, I believe this is for the Bomber, possibly the Bomber or the Wraith, but it's the, the uh, interior set. So I'll just, there's the number there, stickers and everything. I've still got all the heads from the Deadbolt body, which is just above me over here. So I might actually just run the Deadbolt body on this until I get pick and choose the body I want. But anywho, we've got the SCX-10-2 Raw Builders Kit. Uh, it's a great kit. I love what comes with it. So as you can see, with this kit you get the, the, uh, the HD diff gears. You get the normal shocks. These shocks came on the SCX-10 I have, which is fine. I'm not worried about that. All metal links, very excited about that. All metal transmission gears, so I don't have to upgrade any of these. Universal drive shafts for the front axle, don't have to upgrade that. This literally comes with all the core upgrades that you need to do on the truck. Um, there's a side shot there. And obviously the axles. These are the one piece axles. That's what they seem to be coming out with a lot more now. Which I'm okay with. I kind of miss having the... Uh, um, the knuckle and C-hub being able to replace those add a lot more weight. But I don't know if it's cost or whatever, but they've gone this route. And in honesty, it's not a bad thing. Most axles look like this when you buy them you add the knuckles on the end or see uh, steering knuckles um sorry but it is what it is i'm perfectly fine with these axles eventually i might even go with the new scx 10 3 straight axle which i really like um but i'm also going to do an scx 10 3 kit midway through next year, uh, spring, summer. So stay tuned for that. But with this kit, you get all your bags. So there's plastics bag three. So it looks like it comes with your uh, side pieces there, uh, receiver box, all your link ends, all that good stuff. And then this one, it's got a lot of weight to it. This comes with all the screws, um, shock stuff, because you gotta build your shocks. This is like a lot of the hardware in it. Um, all sorts of goodies in there. Diff covers. Probably end up buying some aluminum diff covers, like what I did with this truck. I like the look of that all one color, you know, instead of that red. I don't mind the red, but it looks kind of, yeah. And then here you've got the transmissions in there. Excuse me. Steering horns. 
Bird gear. Yeah, a whole bunch of goodies in this one. So it'll be, it's nice to have the new spur gear, but there's the, the other parked bag. Cool stuff. And then the last one, get the you get all the stickers, which I'm very excited with. I like having all the stickers. Because I'm a you can see any bit of my toolbox, it's covered in stickers. A lot of Yeti stickers. I'm a big fan of Yeti, and so when my, me, my fiance, my mom, anybody gets stickers, they go right on. Even my stepson put his Yeti sticker on the tool belt. But, uh, and of course, you never get an egg seal kit without your gate markers. I have four. Woo. So many. And then the, your typical C channel SCX102 frame rest. And of course the uh, the manual. Um, I will open up this bag. I'm not getting going on building it all quite 100% yet. Just because of uh, timing and to be honest, I've been feeling a little under the weather for the past couple days, so I'm just, today I'm kind of taking it easy. Uh, my fiance is over at her mom's for dinner. Um, the steps on there, just having like a Christmas Eve, late Christmas Eve dinner. She brought my gifts. I don't have COVID or anything, but just been uh, stomach wise, just not feeling that great. So today's my relax at home day. Um, but anyway, T channels, typical, always the same, nothing wrong with that. And dump that out at the bottom. Pull the stickers out so you can get a better see of them. See what's cool about this sticker, this these these sticker pack, this sticker pack, is it comes with license plates. So whatever body I'm buying or get, I will actually have some license plates on. They won't be full blown, real scale license plates, but you know what? That's cool. I'm happy with that. Um, and it's got you know your eight seal bits there. All the eight big eight seal stickers. So yes, I'll be putting stickers on my toolbox. <laughs> like, duh, dude. Um, but here's the manual. Your very typical eight seal manual. I don't know if I'm going too close to this, so my bad if I'm. Whoa, it's close. Jeez, guy needs to learn how to use his freaking camera, man. Um. Yeah, there goes another drop. Literally right in front of my camera, there's, there's water that will drop down. I don't think I'll ever see it, but uh, in the camera, if I could, I'd slow it right down so you'd see it. But I'm not going to do that because it's just too much work. So I also have the old shots from this truck because I bought the new, uh, or bought a pair of uh, Benedict Henry or something like that. They're on, um, they're on Amazon. And I don't have, per se, issues with the hobby shop that's closest to me. Um, there's one in Langford. I'm sure, I don't know if everyone's noticed them. Or, um, well, if you're watching my video, you'll obviously know about, uh, uh, RC Sparks. Um, but, uh, Afro RC, he's actually located in the same city I'm in. Uh, so I'm in Esquimalt, Victoria, BC. He's in Langford, Victoria, BC. So it's, I don't drive. So for me to bus there, it's about two different buses and it'll take me about an hour on a bus. Driving, 20 minutes. Not as long. But he is in... Victoria and so eventually I'd love to be able to go to him 
Um, he's a lot more drift oriented, but he's getting big into the SCX 24s, which I do have, and I will do the video, but I do have a 124th B7 Betty on the way. It should be here Wednesday. So I am so happy about that. That's what my uh, lovely fiance got for me for Christmas. We gave, we got each other one big present each. Um, our anniversary was like the end of November, so we just kind of, we each got each other a nice gift for that. And then um, she got me a nice chain with a Celtic cross that matches my tattoo. Unfortunately, the chain clasp, my fault, I got caught on something and it broke, so I got to get that fixed. Um, but I got her a Galaxy um, watch, smartwatch. So then Christmas wise, she got me that and I got her a, it's a, she loves cooking and all that kind of stuff. So she wanted a, a really nice Dutch oven and it was a, a famous chef has these, these cookware stuff. So it's a cast iron enamel coated or whatever uh, Dutch oven. So I got her that and she wanted <laughs> It's funny, but it looks like a camera lens, even like the, the, the lid as a, you can see through it, it's a mug, it's an actual like coffee mug, but it looks like a camera lens. So that was like, she's, she apparently always wanted one, so I got her that too. She got me the B17 Betty, which I'm super excited about. So I'll have a number of little builds to do throughout this year at least for now, but that's, there's the kit, so we know what the kit looks like, uh, I didn't even see in there, the axles, where the axles are, where are the axles? Ah, there's an axle. The axles are in this bag here. And I'll tell you what. No, I really don't want to open the bag, guys. Should I? Do you want to see me open the bag? Fine, I'll open the bag. Uh, where's my niff? My niff, 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 niff. niff. I'll put a little slice in it so I can pull an axle out. Of course, they're in another bag. Nothing's ever that easy, is it? Let's see if I can get it. Come out of your bag, man. the back like I was saying this has the the uh, built-in C hubs and there's the pan hard mount there I'm really sorry about the lighting um, it's terrible obviously the bearings are all in this but there is some uh, sole showage the next video I do on here I will do I don't know if I'm going to do a build video, because there's so many of those out there. I might just do a video, okay, here's the axles built. Um, maybe I'll film as I build them and then show little tidbits. But, yeah, so there's that. And I would already looked in here just to give you guys that. There. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the next big project. This doesn't need too much more done to it. Um, that's just, that's going to be like the, I called it the rebolt for the longest time, but I think because of the Ford, I almost want to call it like.
the Ford. <laughs> I don't know the name for it, but I'll think of something. Um, but as I already got some pieces set up for this, for the build. Uh, these are on Amazon. Uh, it's all steel gear inside. It's actually got some good weight to it. But a bunch of people in some groups I, I'm part of, they were all like, just, we use this servo. A lot of the guys were like, we just use the 25, but go for that one if you want. I could go much better servo, but I'm trying to do things sort of on a budget. And the hobby shop that's near me used to be great. But now... They're not so great. A lot of the guys that work there, or that came from the old owners, and they're great. But it's amazing what new ownership will do to a store. And like, it came out like we were me and my fiance were in there a month or so ago, and. Uh, I had just mentioned, I was like, oh yeah, I've got the B-17 Betty coming. He's like, oh, you ordered from us, eh? I was like, no, we just ordered it online. He actually got mad at my fiance for ordering it online. And right away, she's like, your website was down. So, and we we're trying not to go out everywhere. She's pregnant and we had to go to the mall that day to pick up a number of other things. And it was just, we were there. So I popped in to grab some parts. But he, he literally got mad at her. And I lost a lot of respect that day. But I went back on Boxing Day thinking, you know what? I probably could get a deal. Rather than paying for the shipping on a lot of this stuff, I'll just go to the old hobby shop and see what they got. That was a big mistake. I did get what I needed, so I got the pinion gear for the truck. Uh, I'm just going to run a... Uh, I can't even remember what this one is. Uh, I think it's like a 16, 14. Uh, I wish I could just remember these things for you guys. Uh, this is the 3944 14 tooth. 14 tooth metal um, pinion gear. And I picked up the, the, uh, oh, the interior, but that might actually go on that truck. I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't really made up my mind on what I'm going to do with that. But the main buy, oh, servo, you of course get all your little bits and pieces that comes with every servo, right? But it comes with a metal servo. Um, a lot of guys saying that it's junk and it breaks right away, but it's a free metal servo. I'm not gonna. Works for me. Um, anyway, the uh, uh, this is the instruction kit. So I'm just going to pull that out so you guys can see it. This is the motor and ESC setup I'm going to run. So, there's all that. I know that's not what you want to see. Um, good enough. This. It is the crawler motor ESC combo from Dynamite or... Horizon Hobbies. Um, pull it out for you guys. And obviously it comes with all your little bits and pieces. So you got your... Uh, uh, it's the jump wire, I believe. Or whatever it is. I can't fully remember what this little one is. Uh, but it comes with it. Double-sided sticky tape. But then... ESC. Uh, is that right? Yeah. So there it is. It's a very nice. 
I like it. I like the red. It kind of goes with all the colors I like. Um, really nice. My good weight uh, motor wires. I will have to change out or get the adapter for that because I run Dean's. And then you've got all your little wires here. That one I'm assuming goes to the ESC. But then you've got these ones which are for lights and stuff I'm assuming. I gotta read a lot of that up. And of course everyone will want to see the actual rebuildable 35 turn crawler motor. Like this thing is smooth. I cannot wait to run this motor. Um, and again, it's got your little helper there, keep it snug, whatever you need to do. Um, but really nice wiring. And again, just smooth. Like the 35 turn motor that comes in the egg seal, it's smooth. Like they all, they're all smooth, but it's kind of lumpy or I can't really pronounce it right think of the word but this thing is just oh it's gonna be a nice motor and in all honesty I'm pretty happy with what I've got from uh, dynamite in the, in the past I've gotten a number of and, and other trucks you know been a few years now obviously but when you guys go back into the history of my channel, I've had all sorts of different trucks and a lot of them have had um, dynamite systems in them. Um, a couple actually came with a dynamite system. I had a... Uh... Sorry guys, trying to get this back in there. I like to keep everything neat and tidy. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I've had a lot of dynamite stuff in the past, and it's never really done me wrong, I should say. So I went with it. Because, and this was $120. I'm in Canada, so my viewers in the States, yeah, you get shit cheaper. Depending, I guess. But this was $119.99. All in all, with the pinion, that and that, I paid 180 bucks. Boxing day, no deal. Not one ounce of a deal. And I've spent a lot of money at this hobby shop over the years. But with this new owner in there, it gives me the runaround. I was going to get a Mamba X, like, for this. I was thinking about it. I didn't really want to spend more than, like, $250, $300. I really only had $200 I really wanted to spend. But, you know, this one was like 365 or whatever. And he's like, I don't make any money on these. So, I can't, other guys can sell them to make money all day long. I don't make money on them, so I can't sell them. Shit never fucking moves there. And you wonder why. So instead of giving him the money, and he wouldn't even give me a deal on that. If I was buying a truck, new tires, like doing up a whole truck, he would have given me like $20 off. And then he finally got to it, he was like, well, if you buy the Mombax, you can have the interior for free. I'm like, no. So I bought this, and the pinion and the interior. Which he was... So, yeah, I just, 180 bucks, that's what I bought, and uh, my camera gave out there, sorry. Um, so that's what I bought, and uh, I'm happy with it, I've used dynamite in a lot of my other vehicles, so like I mentioned, I'm hoping I mentioned that I did just keep blabbing on with... My camera being off. So I'm coming back late to the game here. <clears throat> so, 
yeah, that's the stuff I bought. I'm really happy with the motor and everything. Um, but yeah, so again, Amazon comes with the metal servo horn, 14 tube pinion gear. Crawler ESC rebuildable motor combo. 35 turn. All the goodies and the interior. Um, yeah, I think I just showed you guys all that, so that's like the third time I've shown you. Um, I did buy a new radio system. I've been using this. Um, the old, the, the good old. Uh, tactic one came with the RTRs for a good while uh, my bomber came with this but uh, there's the number there that didn't come with that truck I got that pistol grip one and I hate that one so I bought that one and then when it came to I was realizing I don't have to buy another one for this I was like why don't I just spend a little extra money put that one away so I got a couple spares and buy a one that I can program more than one vehicle into. And it has a bunch more options to it. So I got the Fly Sky FS GT5. Six channel. Um, so I got two, it comes with a receiver. I bought an extra one to put in that truck and this truck. Um, but yeah, so six channel, so I can run a whole bunch of different things on it. Uh, has a bunch of different modes on it, so I think I can do like, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, cruise control, like there's a bunch of different things I can do with that remote. So I got that. That was 160, 159 with the extra receiver. So that'll be here next week. That was Amazon. Um, I've got a selfie light thing just to help the lighting here. I think it's good from what I just saw, but it's a light that'll, one of those rings, selfie ring lights, so I can do my makeup. <laughs> uh, it's apparently what's generally for, but uh, I thought it'd be great to have in behind the camera just bringing some light to me. Uh, might even work to where I'm working on stuff. But... Yeah, so bear with me. Um, giveaway stuff is coming. Just not sure exactly what I'm buying yet. It's just been, it's been hectic. It's all craziness. Um, maybe I'll you know pick up a Proline hat or something. Not 100 sure. I'll toss in some Quack RC stickers, but uh, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe some rims. I don't know if that was in the last edit of this video. But there will be stuff coming. So thank you for waiting, being patient. I hope everybody had an awesome Christmas. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a couple days with another unboxing with the Betty. And I'll have some run videos coming back up soon. And uh, yeah, hope everyone has a great New Year's. And let's say adios to 2020. And hello to 2021. Get that one? Been seeing a lot of that. 2021. <sighs> I don't have to think about all this anymore. Thank God vaccines are out, but then again, there's new strains of the virus, so it's, I guess. I don't even know. It makes my tummy hurt thinking about it. But not COVID. Not dying, I'm not sick. Anyway. Like I said, I hope everyone has a great New Year's. I will be back with some more videos. Thank you very much. Take it easy, everybody. See you soon.